so let's talk about how to use a dump phone in a complementary way to a tablet. I think it's quite nice that they make the effort to infuse some Christmas spirit into this business world. So the idea is to keep this microphone connected in the car permanently so that I can vlog in my car with a quite decent vlog quality. I'm all red because the car in front of me is actually braking. So how to use uh, a, a tablet in a complementary way to a dump phone? It's very easy. You just use the dump phone for calls and for texts and you use the tablet for anything more complex that re requires apps. And this uh, has a downside uh, which is uh, that you will not be able to use uh, financial apps on the iPad probably because most financial apps like Revolut, Gemini, Binance, etc. they will require uh, you to have the possibility to actually have phone services on the device on which you are installing uh, the apps. So if you uh, install them on an iPad or on an Android tablet they will tell you sorry we won't work because we don't have access to uh, to SMS messages and uh, and to the possibility of making calls to the phone services and that is related to uh, how they process login and and and, and password really because uh, apps like Revolut uh, are using the phone number as a part of your login so if you don't have a phone number on your tablet well <laughs> you will not be able to log in into revolt uh, but uh, besides this limitation actually it's uh, quite uh, a good strategy because you can have your phone in your pocket and call and, uh, and text with the most uh, um, important people in your life but you can also use the apps on the iPad if you need to use the apps for example for I don't know maybe social media management or maybe something related to your work or maybe you are you like to paint on your uh, on your iPad In order to achieve that, uh, you should use probably some kind of a, a digital well-being on Android or uh, screen time on iOS in order to block on the iPad the apps that you don't need. So basically, if you are configuring your tech as a digital minimalist, probably you will want to block the App Store after installing uh, all the applications you need uh, in order not to be uh, tempted to go and uh, download Instagram or download something that would uh, make you lose your time unproductively and, and be uh, less connected with your life and your family. So uh, that is uh, how, how I would use those two devices in a complementary way. Uh, and I would actually maybe consider also running some kind of mapping software in order to find your way maybe or maybe find a business you need to, to, to go to and, and make something in your life. Uh, and also uh, I would consider leaving one or two apps for productivity, especially for task management and electronic note taking because uh, I think that uh, those two categories of apps are really really important even though you can pretty much take notes on paper and you can pretty much uh, note your tasks for the day on paper and this is a very good habit because you know 
uh, paper doesn't need to be charged paper doesn't need to be uh, very well configured it just works it's very easy to use but I think that uh, electronic tasks lists and bidirectional note takers have also a very good place in our today's world uh, because they offer something that paper will never offer which is the possibility to make connections between ideas between concepts that would normally be very very difficult to be to be seen and to be unfolded and the same goes with the task managers uh, a very simple task manager or time blocker will do something that a paper calendar will never do which is will give you the opportunity to make adjustments to your daily plan as your day progresses as maybe uh, other tasks that you have planned take less or more time than you thought it's pretty much impossible to do on paper without erasing something and making actually a mess on paper on the electronic device it's quite easy to drag and drop and so those two kinds of apps i would really leave on the tablet you you'd use complementarily to to your dump phone the basic idea of complementary use is that you will take the apps that bring value into your life and basically put them on such a medium that it will be less prone to be addictive but also it will be convenient to use that is why i think that a tablet is much better for apps than a smartphone you have to intentionally take it with you you have to intentionally put it in your bag or in your backpack and uh, and so it's a barrier some kind of friction between you and the tech and also it gives you uh, an environment that is really more convenient for the use of those apps because it's much more convenient to use a task manager a calendar or a a bidirectional note taker on a tablet than it is on a small smartphone screen of course and that's it please tell me whether you have tried this kind of setup with a dump phone and a complimentary tablet and how it worked for you and see you in the next video bye bye